So five years ago, uh, Evina was not existing, and we were all wondering if uh, Carrier Billing was about to die. Today, we are seeing a lot of activity. Uh, today, one billion different people, uh, unique people, different people in the world do have uh, a little piece of Evina running on their phone uh, to protect them. So uh, there is still six billion people to protect, but we are, uh, we are on the right path. Several things. Uh, Carrier billing is successful because it's a frictionless, very easy, convenient payment system. Carrier billing is successful thanks to all the merchants, the aggregators that are working super hard to put this uh, possibility of payment available to everyone. Uh, and at some point in its life, uh, it became so big that this opportunity was interesting for cyber criminals too. And it could have died if the proper technologies were not set in place. Now we are in this journey, uh, but uh, if, um, if uh, carrier billing is uh, very vibrant today, it's uh, because a lot of carriers, a lot of aggregators have made the choice of investing in security and trusting us, so, and trusting technology. A lot, a lot. Um, with AI, you do 1,000 times more detection, more analysis than with basic uh, uh, pattern control. Um, the fraudsters themselves are using AI, so if you're not, you're really... Uh, I, I want to curse, but you, you, you are uh, really in big trouble if you don't use AI. Today, um, it divides per 10, per 100, the cost of having a strong cybersecurity solution. It divides the time of uh, taking a decision. You, you, you are able to take a very strong decision based on uh, several thousands of parameters in less than 10 milliseconds thanks to AI. So it's game changer. Uh, it's absolutely needed in order to fight the very strong cyber criminal that we have to face, who are using AI on their end too. So, uh, mobile money and carrier bidding are merging more and more. Evina is today the leader in protecting the service pay payment services of the mobile operator, so it means both aggregate, both carrier bidding and mobile money. Um, so, we are um, in this moment, one or I think in five years, mobile money and DCB will have merged very seriously. So, so this is something that we need to prepare. Uh, something else that we need to prepare is more on the complaint management side. Um, for a while, the issue of the complaints in carrier billing um, was due to fraud. Now it has changed. It's no more due to fraud, but uh, um, less and less due to fraud and more and more due to digital literacy, purchase awareness of the customers. And how do you provide the AI, the data, the analysis of the customer journey that gives you in real time a, a way to understand, okay, I'm here with someone that has a lot of digital literacy, I can provide him a frictionless payment. Here I'm in a context where I need a better onboarding because maybe I'm, I'm dealing with children. So being able to use all this data to do this extra step of, of adapting the, the, the purchase flow to your understanding of the customer and is in order to provide the less friction and the best purchase awareness, very customized to the condition of the specific player uh, uh, user you're talking to, uh, is key and is a, it's a challenge. But if you do so, you can really divide per two or per three the complaint rates. So this is our main uh, uh, point of focus today uh, and uh, that drives a lot of development actually.